Hello, welcome again to Compliant Clarence. This is the uh, end of our, our week. I'm so glad you can join me tonight. It's been really good to have you with me this week as we've spent some time at 10 o'clock every night just reflecting on our day, slowing down in the presence of God with each other. Tonight we're going to do what we did last Friday, is a kind of examine of the whole week. So instead of just thinking about your day tonight, we're going to think about all of this week that has gone as we walk into the weekend. Hopefully the weekend is a time of rest for you. You'll find some moments to relax from the usual routine of your week. Uh, but this evening we're going to prepare for that. We're going to spend some time listening to some music, uh, thinking through some words from scripture, and just being in the presence of God in peace and quiet at the end of our day. So 20 minutes or so to relax, calm down, stop being busy, and to be with God, with one another. Let's begin. As we find our way in this evening, let's say together this prayer, inviting the light of Christ to invade this moment with warmth and light. Christ, as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ, as a shield, overshadow me. Christ, under me. Christ, over me. Christ beside me, on my left and my right. These words come from 1 Thessalonians in the New Testament. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. These kind of words can easily be misused. When you're going through a difficult time, there's nothing worse than someone telling you to be thankful. Or there's always someone worse off than you. The reason those kinds of words are harmful is because they can easily deny the reality of what's going on for us. So how should we take those words from the Bible? I think they should be heard as encouraging us to dig deeper into life. Because yes, life can be hard. And some things are just painful, there's no redeeming them. But life is not always hard. It is also good even if it's hard to see the good right now. 
to be alive, breathing fresh air, feeling the chill on your skin, hearing the rain falling outside tonight, noticing the darker nights, having a drink with friends, seeing the smile of your child. All those things can bring you something to be thankful for. They don't undo the bad stuff, but they help us get through it. Rejoice, pray, give thanks. Let's begin this evening by doing that. Give thanks for this week. Even if it's been hard, find things in it that have been truly good, truly life-giving, energizing for you. And say thanks to God. These words come from Psalm 6. Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger, or discipline me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, Lord, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in deep anguish. How long, Lord, how long? Turn, Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. We saw earlier in the week that the psalmist can sometimes offer words for things we are going through today. Sometimes it feels like life is against you. A series of unfortunate events leaves you feeling tired. Bad news following bad news. My hope for you this week wasn't as bad as this psalmist's experience. You felt beaten up, faint, broken, in deep anguish. But maybe there were things this week which left you feeling a bit winded. What things have you been wrestling with this week? Bring them to mind so you can bring them to God. Ask for his mercy. That mercy might mean the gift of letting things go.
as we put aside the struggles of life for a moment, I want to ask you this simple question. What did you learn this week? It's a deeper question than it sounds at first. Think of the many encounters you've had with people. Bring to mind the bits of information that you've picked up along the way. Those stray thoughts in the shower. Those sudden realisations on the way to work or while doing the washing up. Sift through your week and ask yourself, did I learn anything new this week? So think about how you're going to take that new thing forward with you into the future. And if not, ask God to show you something now which will help you to grow. It's time to be honest with ourselves. We always try to include a moment of honesty in our times together. Because it's so easy to get defensive in this age of social media. We attack one another, we hear fake news. We can become so defensive and we forget to be honest, even with ourselves. We can fool ourselves into thinking that we are always in the right. But if we're honest, we know that's not true. And it does us no good to hide away from truth. The only way to move forward to a better version of ourselves is to bring these things into the light of God. Be honest with him about those things that should not have been this week. And about those things that should have been but weren't. So spend a few moments being honest to yourself. Being honest to God and discover the peace that can come from such honesty. Hear these words spoken to you this evening. Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father who created you and waits to welcome you home. In the name of the Son who searches for you 
in the name of the Spirit who brings healing and forgiveness and calls you to do the same. You've been set free. We're reaching the end of our time together again this week. And I hope you found these sessions helpful as a way of ending your day. It's been really good having your feedback along the way. Really encouraging to have you join me. The weekend lies ahead of us and life moves forward. So to close, I wanted to play you again the song I played you last week. It's called One More Step Along the World I Go. I have a feeling this song is going to become something of a tradition for the Friday night Compline at Clarence session. This song gets the balance right, I think. That there is both good and bad in life. There is both old and new. There is both dark and light. But through it all, good and bad, dark and light, we walk with God. So as you listen tonight, ask God to help you walk away from the past and walk into the future with him. One more step along the world I go. great to spend this time with you tonight and I hope your weekend begins well as we've ended our day together and let me finish by praying this prayer over you this blessing 
for the weekend ahead. Speak peace of the running wave to you. Speak peace of the flowing air to you. Speak peace of the quiet earth to you. Speak peace of the shining stars to you. Speak peace of the sun of peace to you. God's blessing be yours, and well may it befall you. Amen. Thank you.